Hey Mallards, it is Sunday. I am at Lock Haven Park with Megan. And we rehearsed for our Kids Friends show this morning, which went very well. And then we had some lunch and we chatted about Phoenix Tears Life. And now we are on our way to the first of four previews that we're gonna see today. Four. So we'll be uh, talking about a lot of theater. Wow. Buckle up, ladies and gents. It's gonna be a good time. That's what this show made you feel like, stretching. Yeah. We're just gonna uh, casually stretch and talk. So, uh, so we just good. saw visibility. Uh, there's a lot of stretching involved. Yeah. Um, it is a dance show about mobility. Uh-huh. Lack and, thereof. Yeah, and lack thereof. Which is an interesting thing to do a dance show about. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was great as a person who likes dance and also has chronic pain. Mm-hmm. I two thumbs out of two thumbs recommend yeah there was a lot about chronic pain and a lot about uh like just dealing with not being able to move the way that you've always moved or the way that you want yeah to move like doing it in your brain is different than doing it in your body yep that's really important uh i thought it was really really great as a person who doesn't like dance shows how how was it uh, i Do thought that understand it was, what's yeah happening i thought that this show made it very easy for people who don't particularly always understand dance to get it like i understood the show from start to finish i feel like mallory was it's like well i don't understand why you're doing this in the first place uh yeah there was a little <laughs> bit of that that's true of like a, why are they moving like that at all <laughs> uh yeah there, there are a couple of times where like Listen, Dance and I have a contentious relationship in that it is a foreign language that I do not know how to speak. But I thought that this show is easy to follow if you're not a dance person. Mm -hmm. The story is very, very well told and you can understand it. Mostly told through sound design, mm -hmm. of which uh, it was really good. So good. Super duper good. Yeah, and the visuals are really good. We won't spoil, but it's really, really fun. And it's going to definitely make you feel like stretching. Yeah. Like, you're going to be sitting there in those seats going, oh, man, you're right. I do. I want to stretch. <laughs> I kind of want the soundtrack of that to just be like, do, 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 at home. Yeah. Like, it's good, like, it is good stretching interval music. Interval stretching music. And it's got, like, it definitely has, like, hills and valleys as far as the uh, intensity goes and also the, like, speed and energy. So it was very nice. We've got a good flow. Three shows to go, but first we have a break. We have watched two more shows. (laughs) That's what... (laughs) What? (laughs) Nothing. We we have. We have. We watched the Uh, Choose Your Own Adventure musical, The Wizard of Lock Haven Park. Yes, a site-specific show. The Blue Menu. The Blue Menu. You'll figure it out eventually. Yes. Um, So the site-specific show was really fun. Uh, there was like two different tracks and I love a show with a replay value. And we went on separate uh, tracks mm-hmm. so that we could have separate adventures. It is a musical, which I knew when I found out that the opera, like that the group that was producing it was called opera, but it's, it is an opera. Yeah. Uh, Without so like, mind. music, just like acapella mm-hmm. yes. singing um, around, which takes a minute to get used to, but like you figure it out eventually. Uh, <laughs> no, that's the other show. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is, it's a fun little story. It is cool that there are two different adventures to go on, and you really do roam throughout Lock Haven Park. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know where you ended up, but we went all, like, the track that I went and went all the way around the corner of the Science Center. Yeah. Not super ADA accessible, some issues with that, but generally a fun time. Uh, and they have a lot of different actors in it, so if you yeah. know someone in the show, double check when they're in the role that they're supposed to be in. Yeah, that's true. There's a huge amount of performers in that show, but it was really fun. We had an absolute blast. Uh, going to that and you know site specific man they're they're doing it wild every time we saw you'll figure it out eventually Mm -hmm. it is a blue venue show Uh, we went specifically because uh, our friend jess fernando is the performer and she was phenomenal it is a show about a playwright and attempting to write a play (laughs) yes and, and about a penis. It's not really about a penis. A very classic one-person show, very fringe in that sense, mm-hmm. um, and a show about a show. Pretty relatable, pretty fun time. Really, really enjoyed it. And pretty funny. Highly recommend, uh, as always, links on there. And we have one more show to check out. Yeah. We gotta go back outside. We just finished our last preview of the night. It's like 11 p.m. We yeah. saw Adele Horror Story, 
which was a lot of fun. Really easy to find, which is really important for site specific. Yes. Um, audio was good. We were sitting like in the front, so I don't know if there were problems in the back, but because they're lip syncing to songs. Yeah, uh, it's which really was a good choice. Hear. Yeah, made uh, it really, really easy to hear. The story is funny. So it's called a dull horror story. Uh, and we won't is. tell you who it's about or who the killer is yeah. or what's scary about it whatsoever. Uh, definitely not. Uh, it takes place on a campsite. It looks like a campsite. Yeah. Like it just, yeah. Super good location. Note that it's 75 minutes. It's very entertaining. We laughed a oh, lot. Yeah. Bring your own chair if you yes. want. Yes. Highly recommend bringing a chair or a blanket to sit on. Mm -hmm. The weather tonight. Beautiful. Beautiful. So hopefully Check your it weather forecast. stays like this. Uh, but this is a fun nighttime show. It's a riot. You will have a very enjoyable time. Mm -hmm. And that's all of our previews today. So are you going to finish the vlog? Yeah. And check out down there for links to tickets to all the shows I talked about. Come to the Fringe Festival. Come see me if you're vaccinated. Let's hug and I'll see you tomorrow.